So we are here today because the workers at this nursing home and all across the state have been on the front line throughout this pandemic, coming in day after day, making sure that the residents were taken care of. And so the state legislature appropriated a hundred and fifty million dollars and some of that money was supposed to go directly to nursing home worker wages but you know what's happening instead arcadia here is trying to take that money and keep it in their own pocket i work in the middle of the night and most of the time I have more than 25 residents, 25 people to take care of for eight hours. There's no way to give people the care that they need when you are staffed to those levels. Well, if you hire people at a decent wage with decent benefits, you would be able to keep people and not have to retrain new people all the time. We have to pay bills and take care of ourselves and support ourselves and stuff too. And if you have kids and you got kids, you got to take care of too. So that would really help a couple of dollars an hour more. I just want you to know, as your hospital commissioner at Valley Medical Center, it is my priority to make sure that everyone in this community has a living wage and is respected and honored and have the best care possible here. In the past legislative session, nursing home workers, union members, and other advocates lobbied our, our state legislature to increase nursing home funding so that we could finally get the wages up, so we could stop the hemorrhaging of workers. There is a national shortage of nurses and aides, and there is no way we're gonna dig ourselves out of it with the wages that we're currently offering. We all know that $18 is not enough. No. $18 is not enough! No. 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 Healthy workers make for healthy patients, healthy communities. So thank you so much for our union brothers and sisters for standing together, reminding us exactly what it is that we government need to do for you. And I'm here because I care about the people I work with. We are exhausted, we are sick, and we are angry. We have to have competitive wages, and that's not what we're getting paid. We managed to raise this historic amount of money for nursing homes. And I'm out here today because this company behind me, Arcadia, is still refusing to pay their workers, their workers that have stayed through the pandemic, that care for their people. It's ridiculous. Washington State has a mandate now to pay nurses and nurses aides more, to show their appreciation and to try to increase the quality of care. Safe staffing saves lives. Right. Right. Center knows it. We got a long road ahead of us, but we are going to fight to the end to make sure that we save lives around our community. That's right. It's important, my brothers and sisters, that we stand together because when we fight together, we win together. That's right.